All right, I want to give you a real quick and dirty way of getting audio out of your box. Now, if you got a new box or you had your box upgraded, one of the new things about the whole version 5 and 2D and the new firmware is that for the first time ever, when you just plug your box in, it works. It's automatically assigned uh, DAW 1 and 2 to the two places that you think that audio should go, which is with your headphone jack and the uh, first two outputs of the physical hardware. So that's that's new for us. This thing called boot stage. We're going to be talking more about that. Now, that only works the first time because the minute you launch the console, the console writes over that because it recalls the last thing you did. That's kind of an, also a new thing. But out of the box, you just want it to work, just plug it in. Don't launch the console. Go to System Preferences and choose the ULN2 or 2882 as your output device, and you're good to go. Okay, so that's the first way. Second easiest way would be just to go to the templates. That's File, Open Template. Any of the templates, or actually all of the templates, no matter what box you're using, have DAW 1 and 2 routed to the two spots you want it, headphones and output 1 and 2. So if we choose, well, I, I all except the empties, of course. Basic setup, go to Open, and you'll see that we're going out to Analog 1 and 2, and it's also multi to the monitor left and right. So that's perfect, beautiful. All right, but what I really want to teach you quickly is how you actually can do this from scratch. So if we go to Mixer and clear Mixer Config, I got nothing. So let's show you how to actually do a simple DAW 1 and 2 playback, OK? Now, the quickest way to do this is to go to the Configure Mixer, OK? Now, the first thing you always have to add is you have to add a mix bus. That's just the first thing you have to have. It's just a simple stereo mix bus. Okay? Press the plus button to add bus 1. You can name it if you want to. You don't really have to. Now, the bottom pane shows you all of the channels coming in. Okay? Input channels, output channels. All we want to do right now is just simply grab DAW channels. So the first listening here are the mono channels. As you scroll down, you'll see the stereo channels. So I want DAW 1 and 2. I just click it off and go to Configure. All right, so now I have DAW 1 and 2. OK, so this is the input. It's being fed from DAW 1 and 2, and the output is bus 1. The thing left for me to do is tell bus 1 where to send its audio to. So I would like this to go at analog 1 and 2. And in addition to that, I want to also go to my headphones. So if I hold down Shift while I click on the output assignment, it does a MULT. MULT means send a copy of its signal to another spot. So now if I go in there, you'll see it has MULT to monitor left and right. So now I have audio from iTunes will now play from analog 1 and left and right. That's all I have to do. That's simple playback. That's it. So first thing, brand new box, plug it in, don't launch the console. You're all good. Second thing, pick a template. Templates are automatically assigned for DAW 1 and 2 to simply playback. Third thing, make a simple mixer configuration. Select your DAW channel, select a bus, and then route it to a physical output. You're done. Press play. That's it.